Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to display records into details view from SQL Server database using ADO.NET Entity Data Model. And here we got the final output. The employee table is binded into this details view with pagination. Two, three, six. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET web application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is details view entity framework okay and from the templates I'm selecting empty click OK and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer now in this project I am adding one web form page right click the project name add web form the web form page name is details view binding click ok and here we got the source page of this newly created details view binding now between the form and due tag I am adding center tag h1 how to bind data from database into details view using adword.net entity data model horizontal line I am adding after the horizontal line I am adding the details view control open toolbox from the data folder I am adding details view after that open solution explorer right click the details view now in this project I am adding a new adword.net data entity model adword.net entity data model I'm selecting that one the item name is employee table okay I'm selecting the first option from the model contents EF designer from database click next creating a new connection I'm adding SQL server name after adding server name I'm selecting the database name sample db is my user database i have selected test connection is succeeded okay okay and here we got the connection string of the sample db dot dbo and the connection entity name is the sample db entities and i'm saving this connection string in the web.config file click next the version of the entity framework i'm using 6.x next from the selected database objects I'm expanding the tables expanding the dbo the employee table I am selecting click finish and here the employee entity model is added in our project I switch to the source page in the details view I am adding the property hello paging is equals to true switch to the design mode double click the details view it will generate the page index changing event of the details view now what I'm doing I'm adding a new function private void get EMP now in this method I'm adding the connection DB entities the connection entities which is a sample db entities sd is equals to new sample db entities details of view one dot data source is equals to sd dot the table name is employees dot to list method details view dot data bind method 
that's it we have binded the employee details into this details view control now in the page load if not page dot is post back I'm calling this dot get EMP method this method I'm calling here as well as I am adding the details view page also. Now I am implementing the page functionality of the details view. Details view one dot page index is equals to e dot new page index. That's it. We have done the complete coding part to bind the employee table into the details view with the page nation. Google Chrome and here we got the final output the employee table is binded into this details view with page nation 2 3 6 that's it